Hi boys and girls. Hey, I know you guys know that I like to get messy and I like to do hands-on projects where we can really get in there and make something. Now, I was thinking the other day about finger paint. and I don't have any finger paint at home. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I was thinking of different things that I have around my house that I might be able to use as finger paint. I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there and say, please check with your grown-ups before you do any of this project because it can get messy. What I chose at my house, and it could be different the way that, based on whatever materials you have at your house available. If you have finger paint, great, use it. I don't. So I'm using chocolate pudding. You could also use whipped cream. You could use, I know some of you like ketchup, you could use ketchup. You could use different things like that with that kind of a consistency, almost like finger paint. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm gonna do with my pudding. Okay, so I'm gonna aim my camera down. What I did was if you have a tray or a paper plate or something that you that's easily washable, you can put that down first. If not, I put down aluminum foil. You could put down parchment paper. Um, anything. I like to not have to th um, clean things up. I'd rather just throw it away. So that's what I did. So I'm going to open my pudding. And I love pudding. Do you guys like pudding? I'm going to spoon some out onto my tray. Okay, or onto my foil. Then I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to spread it around. You can use your fingers too if you want. I'm going to save my fingers for a minute and I'm just going to spread it around with my spoon. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like with the, um, if we use the whipped cream. If we use the whipped cream, let's see if I can move this over a little bit. I'll put some right here. Okay, that, I don't have another spoon, so I'm gonna use my finger to flatten that out a little. Okay, so what we can do is we can practice drawing or writing. I'm going to write mine upside down so you can see it, but I can practice my writing, my A's. I can then I can erase it by rubbing my finger on it. I can make my numbers. I can make the number 2. I can erase it. I can make a sunshine. You guys get creative with this project. Make a mess. Get creative, and when you're all done, maybe you can eat it up. Make sure your hands are clean before you start, of course. And like I said earlier, be sure to check with your grown-up to make sure it's okay that you make such a mess before you get out all of your fun um, ingredients and things and start doing this project. Like I said, anything that seems like it might be the consistency or feel like finger paint, you can use. Pudding, ketchup, whipped cream, can't think of anything, cheese sauce. I don't know, what do you have on hand? I would just dump it down and start getting your fingers in there. It helps with your fine motor movements, your little finger movements. You can try to write your letters big. You can try to write your letters small. You can practice uppercase letters or lowercase letters. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And when you're all done, let me know. Post a picture or post a video. Let me know how it turns out for you. And let me know if you ate what you drew or what you wrote. All right, my friends, I will see you another time. Bye.